So cladistics is a mechanism or a method that scientists use when they're trying to figure out who is most closely related to whom. And it's a way of grouping organisms based on looking at what are called derived characteristics, which are groups uh, or types of characteristics that are unique to a particular group of organisms. So you all wind up with things called clades. A clade is a group of related organisms that all have a shared derived trait or shared derived traits. An example of a clade would be like, for example, mammals. All mammals have hair and mammary glands. So I, as a mammal, have hair, uh, non-functional mammary glands, but I do have them. Um, even whales have hair, eight of them, uh, and mammary glands. Now, You'll see the term derived traits, like I mentioned before, and these are unique or new traits that all members in a uh, clade all share with each other and their immediate ancestor. And you'll often see these diagrams that are sometimes called cladograms. And here's an example of a cladogram that shows some common ancestor to all of these organisms. And that common ancestor may have been uh, some kind of four-limbed uh, fish or something like that. From that, we can see the frogs but derived off of, or uh, a derived trait that all of these organisms share that don't sh uh, aren't shared with the frog is the amniotic egg. Um, whether it's the uh, shelled eggs of the lizards and the crocodiles or the amniotic sac that humans use to give birth, uh, to um, help keep their child alive inside of the uterus. From here, you can see the mammals and humans branched off with their hair and mammary glands, while the scaly skin of these reptiles is a derived trait that all of them share. However, we can group the crocodiles in their own little subgroup or subclade because they have a gizzard which lizards don't. That's cladistics.